Hello everyone, Baba Ganoush back again on Elite Dangerous. In today's video, we're going to be going to Waypoint 8. We're finally leaving Explorers Anchorage. We've been there for the past, I want to say, two weeks now. So we're finally getting off, uh, getting off our asses from Explorers Anchorage, and finally, you know, getting back into the swing of things. Uh, finally going off and uh, getting back to exploring the galaxy again, which is so so nice. I've been so bored. Just setting, just setting at Explorer's Anchorage. I got, I got kind of bored sitting out there. Uh, but I'm glad that that we're finally back out. We're finally exploring, doing a thing. Um, these these uh, first three systems that I show off, they're actually a cluster in the same kind of vicinity of the galaxy, I guess. Uh, there's one called the Epsilon, uh, from as you see here. I think another one's called Kappa, and I think the other one's called uh, Archer, maybe. But they're all like like kind of in the same uh, vicinity of space so there's a couple of, of these nebulas like you see here I'm actually going to show you from the galaxy map because the galaxy map actually gives you a, a pretty good uh, detailed view of of, of what these uh, nebulas look like um, I guess from a space perspective if if I could say that like a third person space perspective looking in on, on the galaxy map they're, they're pretty accurately depicted um, but I mean, obviously, you know, as you see, uh, you know, like you being in system, it looks a little different, but I think it's cool seeing it from the uh, galaxy maps perspective of everything. Like you're looking from the outside, looking in on them and they do a good job of showing you what they look like, uh, as a whole. So, uh, usually whenever I, I, uh, drop in on these things, I like to show them from the, uh, galaxy map point of view to kind of give you guys a like kind of an insight of how they look uh, overall because I'm only showing you the view from from uh, one one uh, set of space in a system so I mean sometimes I go in a galaxy map and 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 kind of give you a full view of it so The next point of interest that we're showing off is Silver Highway and when I first got into the system I really didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't know what was special about it until I joined that party and I, I started asking questions. You know, I was like, you know, what's so uh, special about this system? And one of the guys pointed out to me that there's a planet within like almost the asteroid ring's orbit of a different planet right next to it. And uh, he told me to go check it out, and I figured I would go land on said planet just to see how close that asteroid belt is to the planet. Pretty fucking close. As you can see here, I'm cruising around up in the SRV. I docked basically in, in sight of the asteroid belt. Um, I'm pretty positive that if, <laughs> if like there was a mountain high enough, I could probably get into orbit and fly my SRV into that belt right there. But obviously, I didn't want to try that. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to lose my SRV. But, but yeah, I mean, uh, this is a pretty amazing sight. So, the next point of interest we're going to is called the Dark Eye Nebula. Again, I didn't really understand why it's called the Dark Eye Nebula. The system's pretty, pretty well lit, pretty bright. But, uh, but I mean, I go to all the the major points of interest anyway and check them out and uh to show you guys you know pretty much what they look like and upon coming in the system i ran into another guy in the system he was hanging out just chilling i guess so uh me and him started talking a little bit so i included a little bit of that in here uh some of the uh, text chat a little bit too because i mean like it's always nice running into other commanders out here um you know we're we're what like i don't know probably five thousand light years uh, 4,000 light years past SAG-A of 20 plus thousand light years away from the bubble. So even though I'm on this huge trip, uh, coming into contact with other players is really nice. The next system we're going into for the point of interest is called Bracio Juliet Nebula Cluster. Again, I didn't really see what was all that crazy about the system, but it was a black hole system. And as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I like to kind of play with the black holes. I, I like that actually sounds kind of nasty if you think about it, but I like to kind of get a good view of them. Um, I like to get it as close as I can without fucking my ship up. 
and I think this one actually made a pretty good view. Um, so I was pretty proud of the view I was able to accomplish here with this one. But uh, didn't really see what was spectacular about it, but it was a beautiful system nonetheless. Uh, and a good view of the black hole in said system. So the next point of interest we're going to be hitting up is the Breakthrough Echoes, point of interest number 8. And yet again, upon entering the system, I had no clue what was spectacular about it. I didn't know what the deal was. And yet again, I started talking with the guys in chat, and one of them pointed out that the system has two, I think it's two uh, water worlds and an Earth-like, all within the, the same kind of vicinity of uh, one another. So I scanned all, all three of them. And I thought about going map them, but they were about 4,000 light seconds off, uh, maybe, of, you know, give or take a little bit. And I didn't really feel like going map them, especially being the fact that there's probably other people out here who, who's already mapped them. As you can see, you can see at the bottom, it says that it's already been mapped and scanned by someone. So I didn't feel like going to take the time out and, and go and do that, but I wanted to scan them and show them off to you guys. Alright, so this is where things start to get a little tricky. So, if you didn't know, if you didn't read about anything about this, uh, the system that uh, Waypoint 8 is located in, it's only reachable if you Neutron Star Boost or, or if you uh, FSD Synthesize Injection. I think I, said, I think I said that wrong. If you Synthesize your your FSD something like that I, I don't know the proper terminology but uh, basically you you need a boosted jump range to reach waypoint 8 system um, if you don't you're not gonna be able to reach it because no one's gonna have a normal jump range of a hundred plus 200 plus so uh, my anaconda has a 60 light year jump range with the 30 limpets I have on it so uh, boosted it's about 230 or something like that so the trick was was I had to jump of my to a neutron star boost jump into a system close enough to uh, the away point eight system and then neutron boost from that system into the system of a, of a waypoint eight so um, the stuff you're seeing right here this is me about to uh, boost jump into the uh, waypoint eight system um so yeah i mean it, it was it was uh it was quite it was quite tricky uh getting out here into the system and the system that uh, waypoint eight is actually in i mean as you can see you're on top of the galaxy i mean you could see you know uh, basically everything from this single point of view which is pretty crazy So here we are at base camp for Waypoint 8 called Goliath's Rest. This is actually some footage of me trying to pinpoint the coordinates down of base camp. It took a little doing. Uh, this planet doesn't have any uh, geosites as the other ones did. So the other ones were kind of easy to find. This one I had to actually use my coordinates and find it myself. Which took a little doing but uh, once I got here there was uh, two other guys out here relaxing and enjoying the view. One was in a crate, and the other one is in a Federal Carvette, which props off to him because he probably doesn't have that great a jump range. Probably 25 to 30 at most, if I had to guess. But uh, these guys were just chilling, so I I got in the rover, uh, roamed around a little bit, and enjoyed the view with them. There's not a lot of footage of base camp, but there is a nice view to, to kind of you know end the video with. So if you did enjoy the video, give it a like. And... Uh, the next video will be coming up in the next week. I'm actually on my way to Waypoint 9 as I'm making this, so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.